Looks like you've done quite a number on this one. Intel extracted via physical torture is unreliable. It has always been my understanding that a skilled interrogator doesn't have to resort to inflicting pain on his subject. You're right, Commander. But it all depends on the time and the place. This man used to be a member of Fox. For him, this doesn't even qualify as torture. I was simply saying hello. I see. As a fellow Fox, you know his limits. Still, it's not easy getting information out of him, is it, Cunningham? Uh, he is a tough one, I'll give him that. But his resilience will be his undoing. This time, I'll get the location of the remaining legacy, for sure. Can you do it? It's not part of my normal regimen, but there is a way. Drugs? Truth serum won't work on a member of Fox. While he was away from the battlefield, they developed a new formula. Confessions extracted via truth serum can't be trusted. More so if you're using a stronger formula. He could fall apart before you even have the chance to question him. You know that as well as I. Why the hurry, Cunningham? It seemed... Uh, the ideal way to handle it, from an efficiency perspective. All right then. But I want to talk to him first. Be my guest. Truth serums also have an anesthetic effect. If I use it before he recovers his strength, I can't make him hurt. Let's let him taste the fear a little while longer. You've been awake all this time. You'd make a formidable opponent. I can see now why you've inherited the title of boss. And yet, you are troubled. <laughs> Who are you loyal to? Why do you fight? What is a country? A soldier? Have you lost sight of these things? That's why you retired from Fox. But here you are, back on the battlefield. Once you've inherited the soul of a warrior, you can never leave the battlefield. <laughs> Allow me to share a story. This whole business about stealing Metal Gear, it was all a setup from the beginning. The idea was the CIA's. They were planning to give the American-developed Metal Gear to the Russians. Giving the enemy a new weapon of their own design. Do you know why? Enlighten me. To prolong the Cold War. The failure of its planned economy has left the Soviet Union's finances in shambles. On top of that, thanks to the boss's work six years ago, they lost the Philosopher's legacy. The Russians can no longer sustain the massive military spending demanded by the Cold War. And now America, in addition to acquiring the legacy, has succeeded in deploying Mervs in battle, and is moving to cement her military superiority through the ongoing strategic arms limitation talks. At this rate, the global balance of power will soon collapse, and before long the Cold War will have ended. And when that happens, the CIA's importance will have diminished considerably. The CIA is giving Metal Gear to the Russians to maintain the balance of power? Metal Gear is a weapon far more advanced than any Merv. It would be a most valuable trump card for Moscow. One that would render Salt irrelevant. The world would move away from compromise and accommodation and once again split in two, the age of soldiers and spies would continue. Fox's orders from the CIA were not to guard Metal Gear during transport, but to steal it, and then to pretend to defect to the Soviet Union. A clever plan on the part of the CIA, all designed to protect its organizational interests. No, no way. I don't believe it. This is what you call your country. So that's why you staged a rebellion. I will create a world I desire. Just as soldiers have need of talented officers, men have need of talented leaders. 
Leaders capable of granting guidance to the world. I was created for that purpose. Created? Have you heard of the Successor Project? No. It was a top secret experiment conducted by the US government. Its goal, to create the ultimate battlefield commander. The skills to wage war. The aptitude for strategy. The endurance to return from battle alive. And the charisma to overwhelm and master the hearts of soldiers. My voice is endowed with a special power. Another product of the Successor Project. And the soldier they chose as the model leader was none other than the legend herself, the boss. The boss? I received these gifts. I inherited them. Snake, you inherited the title of boss. You were her last disciple. You and I are like brothers. And as such, I couldn't possibly kill you now. Make yourself comfortable, brother. For you're about to witness the creation of my new world. It's me. Somehow I knew it would be you. Yes, negotiations with the Kremlin were a success. They won't interfere with what's about to happen. I must thank you for all your help. When they saw the trajectory data for Metal Gear, they knew that this was no bluff. The CIA must be in a state of total panic about now. All part of your plan, I presume. Tell me something, though. You couldn't possibly have obtained the data on your own, could you? There must be someone backing you. Who is it? 
Never mind. I've got a fairly good idea who it is. The man with the same code name as Null. But you do realize you're betraying your employer, don't you? Just what is it you've got in mind? You're not using me, are you? <laughs> no matter. We'll meet again. In a new world. One of my own creation. Until then, my friend. Ocelot. What is it? What's happened? Pardon sir, but the perfect soldier, he's... Ah! Ah! No. What's the meaning of this? I must complete my mission. Stand down, Null. Not yet. He lives. I have not completed my mission. You mean Snake. He's been captured. Your mission is complete. Stand down, Null. No. Why won't you die, Snake? Out of my way. I'll kill him. I must kill him. I must kill... You will follow my orders, perfect soldier. I am your commander. Take him to the preparation chamber. The perfect soldier has his memory reset after every mission. And yet, after a single skirmish, you managed to instill such strong emotions in him. Snake. Hi there. I brought you some dinner, and some for the prisoner, too. Thank you. Awfully nice of you to come all this way just to bring me a meal. Don't mention it. Say, mind if I talk to the prisoner for a little while? I want to meet the man who fought the perfect soldier and lived to tell about it. Don't mind me, just enjoy your supper. Huh? But... Please try to understand. When a girl's life is on the line, sometimes she longs for a strong man. Uh... Go ahead. Can you do me a favor and look the other way for a while? Looks like you've really been through the ringer, Snake. But I'm glad to see you're alive. I never thought you'd actually survive a fight with Null. Let's see if we can't get you patched up. Uh. <clears throat> oh, uh, eat your dinner. Don't worry, it's not drugged or anything. Don't move, Snake. And keep quiet, okay? 
Can you hear me? Is this telepathy? Shh. Not so loud. Just be quiet and listen. I don't have enough power to talk for very long. <sighs> Gene has begun preparations for Metal Gear's ballistic launch. He's given the orders to start loading the nuclear warheads. What? It's still too early. Did the negotiations break down? I don't know. Not even Ursula and I can know what's running through Jin's mind. As to why he's negotiating with both the US and the Soviet Union, your guess is as good as mine. I think he may be preparing to use Metal Gear right now, no matter how the talks turn out. But I can't stop him. Not by myself. Not while he has Ursula on his side. You're the only one I can count on. They've probably taken Metal Gear from the harbor to the assembly plant so they can load the warheads. If you destroy it now, you can at least prevent Jean from launching a nuclear attack. Why are you telling me this? I saw a vision of you destroying Metal Gear. My premonitions don't always come true. But I do know that you've got a chance to prevent nuclear holocaust. Can you get me out of here? Not right now. Be patient. Your luck will change soon. Well, that makes me feel better. I'm practically smiling. On the inside. All good things come to those who wait. Okay, Chief. Uh, time to wrap it up. Huh? Oh, sorry. I guess I got a little too into it. Into it? This is our little secret, okay? Don't tell anybody. Please, Snake. You have to believe. Save me? You didn't even know if I was still alive. Why'd you put yourself in danger like that? Because you're our boss. Besides, we knew you wouldn't let yourself get killed in a place like this. But saving me's not gonna. We need you. Don't forget that snake. All right, let's get out of here. I know where Metal Gear is. Our business here is finished. Roger that, boss. There's a passageway up ahead that's only lightly guarded.
capable men you lead, Snake. I never thought a Fox agent, a specialist in solo sneaking missions no less, would have his comrades come rescue him. My mistake. You nearly slipped through my fingers. I must remember to thank Ursula. Ursula? The precog working for Jean. She's a mystery to me, but she does have her uses. Anyway, now that we're both here, we can get on with the questioning. The legacy! Where is it? I know you stole the KGB's half. Now tell me where it is! The KGB? What are you talking about? Still playing at denial. Have it your way. Your men die by my hand one by one until you change your mind. Stop! Where's the philosopher's legacy? Where is it? I don't know! Stop it! I don't know anything, I swear! You're lying! You must know where the legacy is. The Pentagon told me. The Pentagon? Why are you so concerned about what's happened to the legacy, Cunningham? What's your stake in this? Enough! You'd better start giving me some answers, or else... Elisa, why are you- Hurry! Go on without me, boss. Hurry. Quit your whining. The bullets went straight through. Now get up! Don't just stand there! Stop them! Okay, step on it. Looks like we shook them off. Yeah. Glad to see you're still in one piece, Snake. How's our wounded? I'm not the world's best field medic, but his condition looks stable. Good. I thought you specialized in solo missions, but it looks like you can lead a squad, too. Knock it off. Hey, Snake. Who's the dame? This is Elisa. She helped us escape. You got one of Jean's soldiers to join our side? Ah. Uh... Just out of curiosity, how exactly did you manage to get a girl like this? Don't you think she's a little young? I mean, another five years and she'll be a real knockout of a woman, but... <laughs> Let's go, Snake. We should check on the location of the plant while it's still dark out. The lights should tell us exactly where it's located. Right. You lead the way. Elisa, about what Campbell was saying. You mean, about waiting another five years? That's not what I meant. I mean, the reason why you betrayed Jean and saved me. You never told me. Haven't I already explained this to you? I want you to destroy Metal Gear. I thought you were loyal to Jean. I thought so too. At first. Even now I'm still grateful to him. In East Germany, Ursula and I were used like guinea pigs. He saved us from that. But the communists... The Americans? They're all the same. All the military wanted was to know the secret of our ESP. They only wanted us so they could use our ESP in war. So once again, I ran away with Gene. Then why did you end up betraying him? It was the nukes. No one should ever be allowed to use nuclear warheads. Not ever. I'm a victim of the atomic bomb snake. My parents were nuclear physicists working in the Soviet Union. There was an accident at the Kishtim facility, and they were killed in the ensuing explosion. Kishtim? The nuclear disaster in the Ural Mountains? Yes. And Ursula and I suffered the after effects. It still haunts me in my dreams. I see my parents dying in the explosion. I see the ashes of death falling from the sky. Soon afterwards, we gained our abilities, right after we were sent back to our country. I've been exposed, too. The tests at Bikini Atoll. I know. Somehow, I could tell. Is that why you saved me? Perhaps. I think I probably wanted to leave some hope for the future. With this body, I'll never be able to have children of my own. So instead, I'm placing my hopes in you. Why me? I just think you'll make a great father someday. Lisa, 
I'm sorry, but I'll never be a father. This is the place. We should be able to see the plant's location from here. So, that's where they're storing Metal Gear. I think so. Something's not right. It's pretty late at night for them to still be working. It might be worth checking out. Right. And Null's still undergoing readjustment. With me gone, it'll take a few days to get him prepped. Now's our chance. Then the only thing we have to look out for is Cunningham. No. Jean is the one you should really be afraid of. The successor project was designed to produce a battle commander capable of commanding the perfect soldier. I've never actually seen Jean fight, but I think his reflexes may be even faster than Null's, and his battle technique is patterned after the boss herself. Must have taken some guts to turn on him. Are you afraid? Yes, but I believe in you, Snake. My sister foresaw you plunging the world into fear. I foresaw you stopping Metal Gear. It was the first time in our lives our visions weren't one and the same. I believe in you. We better get back. Once we catch our breath, we're heading straight for the plant. <laughs> 